All right, let's start off with number one. The question says if both objects A and B are both made out of gold, which of the following is not true? And the answer in this case is B has a greater density than A. And the reason this is true is they're both made out of gold, and gold always has a density of 19.3 grams per milliliter. Since A and B are both made of the same material, having more of B means it has to have a greater mass than A. And I can simply look at B and see that B is larger than A, so therefore B has a greater volume. And that means that B has a greater density than A is what cannot be true. Now let's look at number two. Both objects in B, A and B have the same mass. Which of the following statements could be true? And in the case of this one, the answer is that A is made of a denser material than B. And here's why that would have to be. If if A is more dense, even though there's a smaller volume of it, there's more atoms packed into, into each milliliter of A than there are into each milliliter of B, so therefore I could have the same amount of matter here as here. Okay, so when I look at uh, number three, I see the question is, what material is it made out of? Well, the idea here is that if it's made out of Gold, it'll have 19.3 grams per milliliter. If it's made out of aluminum, it'll be 2.7. It's made out of copper, 9.8.96, uh, and so on. So what we have to do is we have to apply the density equation. And let's look. The density equation is density equals mass divided by volume. Now, it's very important that we keep in mind that mass is measured in grams and that volume is measured in milliliters. I cannot begin to tell you how important it is in my class to learn your units. I know you don't want to do it, you really have to do it, because if you don't, you're always going to struggle. So let's just try this now. I'm Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute in. So I see I have milliliters here, I'm going to substitute them in there where it says volume. So I'm just going to go ahead and say 19.68 milliliters. And then I see here I have uh, grams, so I'm going to put that here where mass is, and I have 176.3 grams. <clears throat> now that equals my density, and so if I divide these two, what I'll get is 8.958 grams per milliliter. That's a terrible milliliter. And then what I do is I look up above and I see, well, that would be the equivalent of copper. So my answer here is it's made of copper. Okay, let's go ahead and try doing number five. If I look at number five, it says, what is the volume? I always suggest to my students, look for the interrogative word, the word that makes it a question, what is the volume? So now I'm gonna look at my equation, and that is D equals mass over volume, and I realize I'm looking for this value, so I have to be able to substitute in the density and the mass values. So let's just go ahead and look at this. I have and, uh, 145.2 grams, so that's going to go up here. So I'll say 145.2 grams, and I see that it's lead. Since it's lead, I've got to see what the density is. So let's go up to the top here, and I see that the density of lead is 11.35 grams per milliliter. 11.35, so I'll come here and say 11.35 grams per milliliter, and that equals 145.2 grams over V. Now the trick here is we're going to swap. When anytime we're trying to solve for a variable in the denominator, what we want to do is we want to swap these two values here. So, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to uh, skip a couple algebraic steps and just go straight to this. I'm going to say V equals 145.2 grams over 11.35 grams per milliliter. And I believe what that gets me is uh, that equals, hang on a second, we've got to move over here. And that equals 
0.0 milliliters. So in number six, you're also, it says which takes up more space. So again, we're going to be looking for volume in the density equation. Uh, number seven says how big is, again, that's volume. We're going to solve the same way we did number five. Now we come down here to number eight. Uh, the question is, was the chain made of gold or were you ripped off? In other words, we want to find its density because what we, what we can tell is this, that the density of gold is 19.3 grams per milliliter. So if I use this equation, solve it for density by dividing mass by volume, uh, what I'll find then is whether or not it's actually made out of gold. Now, uh, with uh, number 10, uh, it says what is the volume. Again, you're going to do the same way that you did number 5, 6, and 7. You're going to solve for V.